This is Twit. Andy was a little unhappy about uh, the lack of <laughs> salty. A salty. Yeah, you know, a little salty. You're the, the best. Well, just, just I'm just I, I'm not I'm not mad at you, Apple. I'm just disappointed. We we expected more of you. Maybe we should be expecting no one. It's 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 a tough feature. The the, the what's what's the feature? feature Universal control. That was the feature where if you just have uh, a, a, an iPad or another Apple device within proximity of your of your desktop Mac or your desktop whatever, you can basically control all three with the same keyboard and mouse. Like you're you 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 move the mouse pointer off to the le off to the right side of your uh, of, of your Mac desktop, and because it knows that your iPad is there and it's off to the right, it will all it will just simply appear on your uh, on your iPad, and now you're controlling the iPad with that keyboard and with that mouse. And it was just it, it was one of the reasons. Why why? Well, I didn't need a, I need no, I didn't need a whole lot of reasons to buy a new uh, iPad Pro this year uh, with the M1 chip. But that was one of the things that kind of sold it to me that oh man, I could use it. Uh, I could integrate this so well with all the other stuff I'm doing. And so, but it's a really a great demo. And the better the demo, the tougher the technology is going to be. And they were supposed to be out this fall, and now there there was they didn't really announce that it was being delayed. They just simply listed it on the on the master uh, OS like product page. And hey, here's this great feature that we're going to have out sometime in the next year. Anyway, but. Here's Here's how great it works. Yeah, Parker or Ojolani on the 9 to 5 Mac is saying out loud the things we're all too polite to say out loud, which is, will universal control meet the yeah. same fate as air power? Mm, really? Uh, I mean, I, that, uh, well, I mean, so there are a couple things. Like one is, I, I, I've said for a long time, I wish Apple would move away from the monolithic annual release and just say, this is what we're doing for the next year. It starts this September, but we're going to be providing features for the whole year. But some people point out that that takes some of the pressure off them. And like, we're already seeing this stuff take three months to come out. And if they said, oh, it'll come out whenever, they'll have even less incentive. Like, like, like saying September means probably by, you know, by March. And if they just didn't set any date ever, it could be by 2025. And I, you know, it's all conceived. It's, it's always good to have a deadline, but air power was just physically, it ended up being physically impossible. And the people who said they could do it were just constantly lying about it being possible. And, you know, and Apple even bought other companies that said, oh, we can, no, we can do it for sure. And they, they couldn't. Uh, this is just a, a complicated feature. I, I use uh, Sidecar all the time. Like I have, I'm editing Final Cut with a mini LED screen and then I have a second mini LED screen to just watch the video <laughs> on and it's amazing. And this is a, like an escalation of that. It can do even more than that. Uh, like, uh, I mean, within reason, like you can drag and drop between between devices, which is really, really cool. Uh, but that sort of technology is just tricky. And I'm guessing that they're having bugs with it and they'd rather not ship it and have people complain about it over the holidays, but just keep it and then release it when it's in a better state. Yeah, it's possible that it's in this, what I would call the Samsung stage of development, where <laughs> it works, but it doesn't work flawlessly. And that, that, that's, that's partly a slam at Samsung, but it's partly it's an admiration for it. Look, this doesn't work perfectly, but we're not going to get it to work perfectly until we get people complaining about it and letting us, letting us know what's not working right. I've, uh, Apple, to their credit, they will not release something, uh, with with rare exception, they will not release something until it works, 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 works. Sometimes I kind of wish they'd if, if there's a, a ropiness tolerance of, let's say, 4.2%, if it doesn't delete data, if it will work for most people, and they will be able to say, oh, by the way, we're doing a public beta release, <laughs> sort of speak, we will let you use this, uh, but it's not quite ready yet, but we want to see how people use it, that might be a positive thing. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a this is a tough one because this was like air power. It was like a big big push. But I, I don't I don't think that'll go the way of air power. They, we're talking air power. They're trying to do something that was really breaking the laws. There of are physics. still rumors yeah. that air power is still in process. I mean, well, the brand name, the brand name. Oh, okay. Waiting for the yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we'll we'll get but something this out of this product. But never made it into beta. That was the thing. Like to Andy's point, like if yeah. this had been in a beta and it was buggy, and then they pulled it from a beta, and then it came back. Like that's one thing. But it just it never made it into beta, which makes yeah. you think the time. Did Apple make it a mistake announcing it? The, in retrospect, absolutely. If they if they can't ship yeah. it and they weren't able to put it in a beta, that means that they were really they had a lot of faith in a system that was not ready to even announce. I yet. wonder how that happens. I, mean, I think the hard part is is that you're you're making announcements about something that's going to be released in October in June, and yeah. you know there it's just what you're there can be things that just kind of fall through that that crack where with a bunch of other updates and a bunch of other things that they've done between now and then, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And I think that, that this is kind of falling probably into one of those the handshakes and so on and so forth that are required to make it work. Um, and of course, Apple, especially when you're rolling something new out, 
no one's missing it yet. I mean, we're all like, yeah. oh, that'd be great. But it's not like it's not like our computer doesn't work. You know, like it's, it's like this is a really cool little thing. So what you don't want to do is put out something that's cool but not necessary um, and have it and then have a whole bunch of people go on Twitter like this doesn't work. I don't understand. And so so I think that they're, there's they're going to be careful of making sure that it's it's really rock solid. So it doesn't create a bunch of complaints on something that, again, Somewhere in the future, we may all be very addicted to it and couldn't live without it, but we, we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah. Like, like we don't, we, we don't have, we other, haven't, we haven't tasted that yet. Yeah. There's that other the aspect to it too, and this, they had this with HomePod where they announced HomePod and it looked great, but then internally at Apple, they realized that they had neglected core audio and AirPlay for <laughs> years and that there were bugs and technical debt yeah. and real really bad issues with those and they ended up having to write airplay 2 which was non-trivial <laughs> and they ended up having to re-architect core audio which was non-trivial and that created a nice little two-month you know product wind down yeah. into a six-month like sprint of marathons and that could have happened again who knows yeah the, and the, the other way of looking at this is that when you're talking about a feature uh, feature like uh, universal control it's possible that you might have angered a bunch of people that say, that will say hey i bought the uh, uh, for for me i bought the ipad pro not because of universal control but it was something that double sealed the deal for me but if you, if you had like a large organization said oh my god we our it department has come up with this really really incredible plan about how we will save money by switching all of everyone over from uh, from laptops to ipad to ipad 10 inch ipads we we, were, we, we invested like ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars into this, and then like, oh, so the thing that you promised us is now is now vaporware. That's the that's the sort of risk that you take when you play this long game like this. 